Welcome to the podcast. My name is Dr. Noor Garzraj. Let's talk about the topic of supplements. There are literally hundreds of books on which supplements you should take. But I'm going to tell you about the Magnificent Seven, the supplements that I personally take. Number one, taurine. Cardiovascular health. It supports health function, blood pressure, and blood fat levels. In exercise, performance, and recovery, it boosts oxygen uptake, delays fatigue, and aids muscle recovery. Metabolic health enhances insulin sensitivity, aiding blood sugar regulation. Brain and eye health, neuroprotective effects, supports central nervous system development and protects retinal cells. Digestion, essential for bile salt formation and fat absorption. Cellular protection, it's a powerful antioxidant and has anti-inflammatory properties. Cellular balance, it maintains hydration, electrolyte balance and supports mitochondrial function. Recent landmark research shows circulating taurine declines with age in mice, monkeys and humans. Supplementation has increased health span and lifespan in some models by reducing cellular senescence, DNA damage and inflammation. An important nuance, while promising, recent human studies showed very taurine levels and no clear direct link to health status. Suggestion individual factors are key. Taurine is a vital metabolite with widespread benefits. Emerging research on aging is exciting, but more human trials are needed to fully understand its role in longevity. Number two, omega-3 fatty acids. Research suggests that adequate intake of omega-3s may reduce accelerated telomere attrition. They are believed to achieve this by reducing systemic inflammation, counteracting oxidative stress, potentially influencing the activity of telomerase, the enzyme that helps rebuild telomeres. Cardiovascular health, lowering triglycerides, reducing blood pressure, reducing risk of heart disease and stroke. Maintaining healthy heart rhythm, they may help reduce the chance of abnormal heart rhythms. Slowing plaque buildup, they can slow the buildup of plaque in the arteries, which contributes to atherosclerosis. Brain health and cognition, brain development, the omega 3s are crucial for brain development. In infants, adequate intake during pregnancy is linked to improved cognition development and reduced risk of developmental delays in children. Some research suggests that higher omega-3 intake from food may be associated with a lower risk of cognitive decline, Alzheimer's disease and dementia, particularly if consumed before symptoms set in depression and anxiety, omega-3 supplements, especially those rich in EPA, may help improve symptoms of depression and anxiety. ADHD, some studies indicate that omega-3 supplementation might improve symptoms of ADHD in some children, especially those with low omega-3 levels. Eye health. DHA is a major structural component of the retina. Higher omega-3 intake is linked to a reduced risk of developing AMD, a leading cause of vision loss. Dry eye disease. Some studies suggest that increasing omega-3 intake from food or supplements may help relieve symptoms of dry eye disease. General inflammation. Omega-3s are well known for their anti-inflammatory effects. Omega-3 supplements can help reduce joint pain, stiffness and tenderness in people with rheumatoid arthritis, potentially allowing for a reduction in the need for anti-inflammatory medications. Lupus and Crohn's disease. Research is exploring potential benefits for other autoimmune conditions like lupus and inflammatory bowel disease. Asthma. Omega-3s may help reduce inflammatory substances linked to asthma symptoms. 
Other potential benefits, certain cancers, some studies suggest a lower risk for certain cancers, including breast and colorectal, with higher omega-3 intake, though large clinical trials have yielded mixed results. Liver fat, omega-3s may help decrease fat accumulation in the liver. Healthy aging, as discussed previously, there's emerging research on their role in telomere health and overall healthy aging. Number three, vitamin D. 70% of the US population have insufficient levels of vitamin D. African Americans have a 15 to 20 fold higher prevalence of severe vitamin deficiency. Given widespread deficiency, vitamin D supplementation can often provide significant health benefits. Bone health prevents osteoporosis rickets in children and osteomalacia in adults by ensuring proper calcium absorption. Immune system modulation supports a robust immune response, potentially reducing susceptibility to infections and autoimmune disease. Cardiovascular health research suggests a link to improved blood pressure regulation and reduced risk of certain heart conditions. Metabolic health may play a role in insulin sensitivity and glucose metabolism, potentially impacting type 2 diabetes risk. Mood and brain health linked to improved mood and a reduced risk of depression, important for neurological function. Cancer prevention. Studies are exploring its potential role in reducing the risk and improving outcomes for certain cancers. Inflammation reduction contributes to reducing chronic inflammation throughout the body. Number four, magnesium. Magnesium is vital for over 300 processes in your body. It's absolutely essential for building strong bones, powering cellular reactions, balances your body's chemistry, regulates crucial electrolytes, manages pH levels, and boosts nitric oxide. Number five, creatine. Creatine is a natural compound, an amino acid derivative produced in the body, primarily in the liver, kidneys, and pancreas, and obtained from certain foods like red meat and fish. It's stored mainly in your muscles, playing a crucial role in energy production during short bursts of high intensity activity. Creatine helps regulate ATP, adenosine triphosphate, which is the primary energy currency of your cells. When ATP is used for energy, it loses a phosphate and becomes ADP. Creatine Phosphate quickly donates a phosphate back to ADP, turning it back into ATP. Think of it as a fast charging battery for your muscles and brain during intense effort. Enhanced exercise performance, increased strength and power, improved high intensity in performance, faster muscle growth, reduced fatigue. Cognitive improvements, improved memory and cognition, neuroprotective effects. It may help protect brain cells from damage with potential implications for neurological conditions. Number six, probiotics and prebiotics. Your gut is a bustling city of microbes. Trillions of microorganisms live there, profoundly impacting your health. Probiotics, these are live or dead beneficial microorganisms that can modulate your gut. Think of them as the good guys you introduce. They often are found in fermented foods like yogurt or in supplements. Prebiotics. These are non-digestible food components like fiber and resistant starch that act as food for your existing beneficial gut bacteria. They help the good guys thrive and multiply, including common probiotics like bifidobacteria and lactobacillus. There's growing evidence that supports their positive effects beyond just digestion, improved intestinal health, enhanced immune response, reduced serum cholesterol, cancer prevention, mental well-being. Number seven, curcumin. It has a potential anti-inflammatory effect. It's a powerful antioxidant in cellular signaling modulation. 
it can suppress various cellular signaling pathways involved in growth, differentiation, and even abnormal cell proliferation, and modulate enzyme activities. Epigenetic regulator. Emerging evidence suggests it can act as a epigenetic regulator, influencing gene expressions in conditions like neurological di disorders and diabetes. Curcumin is the principal active compound, a polyphenol found in turmeric. It's responsible for turmeric's distinctive color and most of its recognized medicinal properties. It's been used for centuries in traditional Asian medicine for various conditions. It's now widely studied as a herbal supplement, food flavoring and coloring. Key challenge. Curcumin is known for its poor bioavailability in the body, meaning it's not easily absorbed and is rapidly metabolized. This is a major focus of current research to enhance its effectiveness. Based on its anti-inflammatory and antioxidant actions and its multi-target mechanism, curcumin has shown potential benefits for joint health, heart health, brain health, and metabolic health. It's traditionally used for soothing stomach pain and inflammatory bowel issues. It influences gut microbiota. The immune system, it possesses anti antimicrobial, antiviral and antifungal properties, helping to boost overall immunity. Pain relief, it's effective in reducing general pain and muscle soreness after exercise. Cancer research, preclinical studies are exploring its potential to inhibit tumor growth and spread. So here's the list. Number one, taurine. Most taurine supplements contain dosages ranging from 500 milligrams to 200 milligrams per day. Magnesium. Common dosages typically range from 200 milligrams to 400 milligrams per day. Vitamin D. Daily supplementation often ranges from 1,000 units to 4,000 units for most adults. Creatine, recommended dose is 5 grams per day. Omega-3 fatty acids, recommended dosing is 2 grams per day. Probiotics and prebiotics. Curcumin, for general health benefits, dosages in studies typically range from 500 milligrams to 1,500 milligrams daily. I hope you found this talk uh, interesting. Please consider... Uh, buy my new book, 100 Pathways to Longevity, and subscribing to my channel. Thank you very much.